All right, all right, two o'clock, time for the regular scheduled nonsense. Welcome back everyone to another installment of Darksiders 3. This is your first time here on the channel. My name is Dragon, I'm a rice room of a foul mouth. And Bulgrim, how far back is this from the from the elevator? Well, we're gonna be trying to fight Wrath again. Keyword in that is try Bulgrim. Hold on. Where's the damn elevator? Look, the tornado's gone. Thankfully. Which means I could run around here if I wanted to, but I don't. So does that mean I could just come out here and run to... Where the elevator should be, in theory? Oh my god, it's gonna make- How fucking far off- Volgrap! Volgrap, we gonna have to have words here, pal! Where's the fucking elevator? Oh, great. Vulgar screwed me over. Great. 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 Yeah. You know, after being so helpful the last time, he's decided to do this. Are we going to have one hell of a long boss run? Is this what we're doing, Volgrim? Nah, man, nah. There's gotta be a closer one around here. Nah, nah, nah. That is the closest one around here. Bullshit, I decree! Bullshit! Oh, look, I can hear him. Alright, come on, let me out! Stop there. Or not, because he's already done the thing I was trying to avoid him doing. Because if he kills the others, they, he gets healed. I gotta keep him from killing the others! about as much as I've hated gluttonies, aren't I?
Is it possible for me to get all of these guys without him healing? How the fuck does this fight work? There has got to be a trick or something that I have not been made aware of for this damn fight. You're gonna at least get your gluttony analysis at the end of this. I'm gonna at least fight, because I finally remember to do that. Volgren couldn't set up shop closer to the elevator? Sip my coffee. Round three, fuck boy. I hate Wait, I can't hit those guys? Oh fuck! Don't make me look up a walkthrough for a boss fight! I beg of thee, do not make me look up a walkthrough. Hey, you know what? Fuck you in particular. I'm guessing that's like the that's probably what is going on. Get your lumber lumbering disappointing designed ass out here. Come on. Gotta out damage the healing. Finally! I told you. Oh, come on. Of course, there's a phase two. Ah, 
shit. Of course there's a phase two, and let me guess, I'm gonna have to go through the entirety of phase one. Waste that shard. Call your damn swords back. We ain't done. I decree this to be bullshit. I'm pissed. I'm getting pissed. So damn close. All right, so we want... Get this ready for the second phase. I don't have another strength shard, so... Well, as soon as we can, we're popping a fortification. damn healing. Ah, shit, it wasn't me he was going for. I decree this to be fucking bullshit.
course, that doesn't slow him down for half a fucking second. Bullshit! Bullshit I decree! Bullshit I decree this to be! Get your fucking focus back on me, dingbat! Come on! No! I was so close! Don't you sh Is he gonna- He doesn't do the spin again. We're oh god, damn it! Is this gonna be another gluttony thing? Is this gonna be the same as it is with gluttony? Okay, what have I got in inventory for like upgrade shit? That is not enough to get. You know what? We're gonna go pay a visit to old thing. Good eating. Please. Make her forge now. Thing, you available for upgrades? What do you need? Or all right, let's see what that can do for you. Interesting. Aiming to lay down a mighty heart, Tari. Some of my best. Huh, that's all the upgrading I can do, damn it. <sighs> it's gonna be one of them days. Greeting. Please take your time. I'm going to assume that is the right spot, and if it is not. I'm gonna be major- I'm gonna be even more pissed than I am right now. Okay, right spot. 
Maybe a quick upgrade to the weaponry is what we needed. Do I have... No, I don't have a level up anywhere. <sighs> is this going to be another gluttony issue? I'm not going to give up on the boss fight. Look, I play Elden Ring and Souls games for fun. We all know what the bosses are like in those. Take it and hit. I'm going to get tired of hearing that shit real quick. I'm doing fine, just dealing with a frustrating boss. Shh, don't you do the spin thing, motherfucker! That damn spin thing is like a paper, is like a goddamn shredding machine. Move faster, Fury! healing shards. Well, shit! It's very much a pain in the ass. Wait, if I'm right here in the center with them, the blades ain't a problem! I should have kept my mouth shut. Should have kept my mouth shut. Should I kept my mouth shut. I jinxed myself by saying, hey, the blades aren't a problem when they decided to come back and be a problem. I did I damn went and jinxed myself. Come on, Fury, we ain't done with him. We ain't ever gonna be done with him just yet. Yep, I went and jinxed myself. Jinxed myself and got hit by Murphy's Law. If it can go wrong, it will go wrong. there yet. Hey, Wrath, I got a suggestion for you, buddy. 
elevator music. Glad to know that's what you think of that suggestion. Gotta just out damage his healing. That's all I gotta do is out damage the healing because eventually at some point he's gonna start ignoring me and start doing that. And that! Just gotta out damage the heals. That's all I gotta do, and then I can get the phase two! If he could stay still! to be bullshit. Ah, no kicking this time! What did I just say about the kicking? Come on! No! Don't you go nowhere! There we go! Phase two! I told you. I invented anger. Well, come here! At least he doesn't heal on this phase. I think. Okay, that, that was a stupid amount of damage I did not need to take. I don't want to say anything because I know I'm going to just jinx myself again. Come on! Come on! Holy shit! Finally! Dang dog, the bitch is dead! Where is her anger? How can you fight with her anger? Oh, I'm holding her anger. I'm holding it. I'm holding it. I, I am consuming the anger. The anger is all from me, not her. Get his ass! Get his disappointingly designed ass! Because homeboy changed still nothing from the first time we saw him. Am I still beautiful? Yes, yes, you very much are, Fury. You are very beautiful right now. There he is in the Pokeball. We got a trophy. Thanks for the assistance. Watching, not speaking. Huh. We're all learning something on this little sojourn. Well. Ooh, luminous visage. Hello. Let me pop that real quick, then let me get ready for the analysis. Pop these as well. Just pop down to Volgrim real quick. Try to remember where the hell Pride's church is. So before we go... Analysis time, uh, after I, uh, level up. So, yeah, I finally remember to do the stuff for Gluttony's analysis, so we're gonna get him out of the way first. Sound like a plan? 
Because I was supposed to be doing an analysis with all the sins. And I've been slacking. Been slacking after lust. Mainly because gluttony pissed me off so much that I had to, you know, take a month of break away from him. Open up my script. Ah, gluttony. I hope you know you're on the same level of annoying and irritating as that damn tornado in the beams puzzle. But we're not here to talk about how much this gross bastard pissed me off. We're here to talk about his design. While THQ Nordic did slightly fall into the cookie cutter design with gluttony, though they make up for it by taking it in, in it into one into a new direction, you see this version of you see this version of gluttony is a parasite, a constantly ravenous leech that attaches himself to some poor unfortunate soul and sucking the life out of them until they are nothing but an empty husk, and he's forced to move on to a new host. His mouths, which take up most of his body, are a lot like the mouths of things like lampreys, leeches, and some parasitic worms, even. Ugh. His body even looks like it's made of chitin, like a parasitic insect. At the time we fight him, his host is an aquatic demon called the Kraken, who, after, who, after looking back at some things, is definitely feeling the effects of gluttony feeding off it. It's lethargic, even when it should be fighting for its life. In fact, I wouldn't be shocked if those tentacle swipes and smashing attacks during the fight were the Kraken trying to shake gluttony off. Too bad the poor thing gets imprisoned with the monster that's slowly killing it. So overall, not half bad design with gluttony there! Now on to the disappointment that's fucking Wrath's Part 2! Wrath, 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 wrath. Come on, man. Second encounter with you closer to the end game, and you give me absolutely nothing. Nothing new to work with. Really? Really? Come on, man. They went with the base. He's still. There's still nothing new to say about him. He's still just a guy on fire in armor. That's it. There's still- there's no significant changes, he's, again, just a dude on fire. No more analysis for you, buddy. The only reason you even got a second fight was to show Fury's character growth. Just fuck off, man. Wrath is just a disappoint- Wrath's second encounter was just disappointing. Alright, analysis shit out of the way. Back to game. Talk of your exploits travels far, horseman. Targon wishes to see you. I don't want to see Targon! Does he now? Most urgently, it seems. Hmm, or you lose out on your cut. My cut? After all we've been through together, you think I... Of course it affects my cut. Please pay the crucible a visit. Daddy wants a new pair of soul slick shoes. Do you even wear you shoes? Oh my, indeed. Phil, who knows where the good money is? If you're willing to play. I don't really want to mess with the Crucible right now. Greeting. First, yes, level up! Fun for both of us. As you wait, take your time. I still hate your pricing. Your prices are so... The pricing is still horrible. As you wish. Your pricing Please still sucks, man. Alright, the church. Not going to the crucible or the void. Not that, not that, not that. Fine, I guess we can try the maker's. Tr or no way, that looks that looks right. Guess time to deal with pride when I don't have her analysis script ready. 
Unless the game wants to pull some bullshit on me again. With no healing Fulgrim! Good eating. Take your time. Fulgrim, you should have said something. A wise decision. You should have said something, Volgrim. As you wish. Farewell for now. <laughs> you should have said something! Alright, your turn, Pride. Yeah, sure. Final act time. Let's go. I want to move on to Genesis here soon. Then... After we're done with all the Darksiders, Darksiders games, I don't know what we're gonna have to fill the empty slot. Maybe I'll bring Elden Ring back. Well, damn. Pride been busy! Pride has been busy. Open her up! Come on! Wow, all the statues of yourself, you compensate for some? Confidence suits you. When earned, yes. You are proud. See, I never understood why pride was considered a deadly sin. The power you feel now after having completed an arduous task. Isn't it empowering? Also exhausting. You've shown great promise. Done exceptional work. Don't you deserve something for it? Perhaps. But not from you. Before you make a tragic mistake, I'd like to make you an offer. You've seen the world. You've seen the state it's in. You're smart enough to know that someone somewhere has lied to you. There is no plan. There is no balance. It's all lies. But imagine if it were true. Imagine if you and I truly set out to give the world a direction. Order. Isn't that your true purpose? We could be the force for balance the world deserves. We could be greatness. This sounds like desperation. At one time, that speech might have worked on me. But that was when I did not understand how ugly pride could be. Thank you for your generous offer, but if this world is to be fixed, neither of us will be the ones to do it. When you look back on your does anything give you pride? Okay, so she's got a shield up. Okay, how is your let's try to figure out at least the mechanics here. She's got a shield up for the first part. So, a demon masquerading as an angel. This is starting off too easy. When you look back on your mind, does anything give you pride? Or not. This is starting out too easy. Stop blocking and fight back. There is no way it is actually gonna be this easy. She's gotta have some sort of bullshit in the back pocket waiting. Ah! Nothing accomplished your whole business life. I have built. Ah! 
Ah, we found the bullshit! I was wondering when the bullshit would come about. Well, we at least know that's coming. At least now we have a better idea of what we're working with. And hey, I don't have to go through the portal again. Just drops you off right here. Thanks, I don't gotta deal with Volgrim again. No, let me skip. Thank you. Yep. She gets laser beams. Why don't I get laser beams? Excuse me, man. I just want my shit back. do that. I will absolutely smack that ass with the whip. What do you think the whip is here for? Would do damage? Why didn't I back up farther? All right, time for the bullshit. another drink of my coffee. I have not been counting deaths. Tell you what, on Genesis I will do a death counter. I do not need a giant chunk of ice in my mouth. Alright, come on, round three, give me my shit back. Break that shield and I am going to beat your ass. These hands and this whip are rated E for everyone. All right, my shit. I don't want to forget my shit. Hold on, Prime. One moment. All right, sorry, Pride. I had to get my shit back. Skip the bullshit. I have built. Oh, 
One more, one more will be good. He knew. He too was proud. Yeah, yeah. Tell me about the council. Your so-called masters are infected with pride. They serve no balance. Who do you think released the seven from our prison? What purpose do we serve without humanity to corrupt? Tell me my words do not ring true. You cannot deny the pride that still resides within you, can you? Enough empty flattery! Tell me everything. <laughs> you already know everything, mistress! The great irony here is that for once, your enemy is right. You should feel pride, but you do not. You only feel fear. Fear that you came this close to greatness, only to fall! See? Your counsel betrays you. <sighs> Watcher! Always so pretty. I used to be so jealous of you, sister. Ah, here's the twist I was keeping my mouth shut about. <sighs> no. have a lot to say about NB when it's time. <laughs> it was all true! Yes, all of it. I envy that ignorance. Bliss, is it not? You know what else I envy? Your power! And thanks to our mutual benefactors, that power is mine! My levels! <laughs> Pride had it right. The charred council set you up. They want us all dead. All seven sins and the horsemen. No! 
Oh, but I, I knew better. <laughs> Jealousy, smell is jealousy. I took the form of a trusted servant, and you, horseman, became both my sword and my shield. With the other sins out of the way, I will destroy the Shard Council once and for all! Only then will the Earth finally be mine! <laughs> Pride goeth before the fall! <laughs> A bit on the nose, but the message is clear! On one hand, fuck you. On other hand, I am gonna have so much to say about you when it comes time for your analysis. You're, you're giving me more to work with than Wrath ever did! You snore. Maybe it's a broken nose. Well, looks like you've been busy. Doing what, I have no idea, other than getting your ass handed to you. Normal Monday. What do you expect? Who are you, human, to speak to me like this? Oh, I'm just another refugee, like you. But I'm not strong enough to defend the balance. That's your purpose. I have learned that I am weak. Well, maybe now you finally understand how all humans feel. Pulled into a war they never asked for. Left to their own devices against forces they cannot possibly understand or effectively fight. All of humanity has been betrayed. And yet, they still fight on. What about you? I strayed from the path. I have been jealous. I have been wrathful. I have been lazy. Ugh. Worse and more. All the things the seven sins stand for, and I have paid dearly for it. So in other words, you have lived. Yes. Good then. You're finally alive. And with life, there is always hope. Hope? I was humbled in my battle with Envy. No doubt she's on her way to destroy the Chard Council, even as we speak. And I remain stranded on Earth. So when you speak of hope, human, I cannot concur. All hope is lost. <laughs> no. Haven is built on hope. Come, speak to Ulthane. You'll see. Yay, Ulthain! Fury, we get to see Ulthain! We go visit Ulthain again! Holy shit, he's finally finished what he's been working on! Well, that's a little awkward. Hey, old thing! You finally finished the thing! How long has it Why taken you? Did they help me? That's, uh, kind of what humans do. And the fact that you send more than a few survivors our way didn't hurt. All for naught. We didn't pull you from the rubble to quit now. Envy holds the power of the Seven. Your betrayal can be seen on your face. 
left for dead like some useless discarded thing. But it is not over. A reflecting pool? Aye, with a few adjustments. But it's only meant for you. Will only take you to your heart's desire. I desire only to finish what the Council began. Find your resolve, Horseman. It's all you have now. And it is what you need if you're to stop envy and unseat your former masters. We're just gonna have to wait till next week because I do not have enough time to get into that. So, for those who did tune in, I do hope you enjoyed. I will be back again tomorrow afternoon for some more Skyrim. I do hope to see you there if you can make it. You know the usual socials? Join the Discord, subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow me on Twitch. But as always, my name is Dragon, and... Bye-bye.